Episode 65, Exercise. Doors open only to those who knock. You're listening to the very best podcast in the world on health, wealth, and happiness. Please remember to leave a review and share with all your friends and family. And here is your host, Lars Hilsen. are at the 65th episode of the very best podcast in the world with a Friday's exercise called doors open only to those who knock. And there are multiple ways to knock on a door. <laughs> Sorry to start out with a stupid uh, little thing, a uh, little remark like that. Um, I hope you are experiencing a nice and uh, happy and merry Christmas. Um, interesting things are, you know, continuing to develop around the world. And I hope that everybody stays, uh, stays safe and sane. And uh, let's start with the exercise. Now, we all know that there are networks like Facebook and... Meanwhile, there are, you know, places like WhatsApp and LinkedIn and whatever else there is to actually get in touch with people and, you know, look to generate business from. And, you know, a lot of, um, from the business that I've made, uh, was generated through LinkedIn, through, you know, spreading my expertise. Uh, that's a form of knocking, um, you know, very rather silent one. There's the way of running your website and blog to kind of attract visitors that way who search the search engines for, you know, your information. And that's knocking a little bit louder. But if you want to knock with an impact, it's actually talking to the people in charge directly right and that's where a place like linkedin comes handy you know if you there's certain etiquettes that you want to keep and maintain in inviting people to connect with you but if your pitch if your elevator pitch which you can fit into i don't know what is it 200 characters is interesting enough people are going to respond and once you've got them in a network you know it's like try and be in touch with them more or less regularly to you know remind yourself in their presence and then move on into the direct conversation if they express during the call that you know they are facing several issues and there's something you can help them out with but more importantly if you know someone that can help them out with a situation that they're in then you're going to be everybody's darling you know it's not as polite to pitch yourself as it is to you know offer someone who may have a solution out of your network and that you've already spoken with, um, you know, to then move on. Now, this doesn't only go out to the entrepreneurs who, you know, I know a lot of the young and wild don't use places like LinkedIn or hardly do, you know, it's, uh, for the old crackers like myself, uh, <laughs> you know, to hang around and have, you know, normal conversations over the phone. Um, but it actually helps, you know, it helps manifest the relationships and nothing is more valuable than a, yeah, meaningful, stable, God damn it. I sound like a marriage counselor, uh, <laughs> you know, like a manifested relationship, you know, between business people. It's like, you know, you get on regular calls, you ask, Hey, you know, what's up? Uh, what's new, what's happened, uh, anything, you know, you need help with. And at that point, you know, it's very good to be the person to be able to say, hey, you know, let me talk to this guy, I'll put you in touch, and boom, there you go. And that's where things actually start to get very interesting, right? And that um, you can help people out, and that's insanely important for 
relationships. And that's the doors to be knocking on because yeah, you know, you know, the people already, it's just about how strong is your relationship. And, uh, that's when you kind of start to knock. So, um, as for the exercise, and we're going to keep this very short today because I know everybody's attention span is down to shit because it's Christmas. You've got better things to do, right? Drinking eggnog and whiskey and eating and taking in humongous amounts of calories. And so, you know, let's keep this short. So the exercise is because, uh, what you have now, uh, during the silly season is time. And so it's about, you know, kind of going through your LinkedIn network and looking at the people that you haven't talked to in a while, you know, get, try to schedule a, a phone appointment, a video call appointment with them. Uh, and then, you know, just don't pitch yourself, but pitch someone else that you know. And that's the exercise for today. <laughs> and it, it is that easy. You know, it's like those, from my experience, uh, the most valuable and interesting contracts I got were uh, through LinkedIn connections. And ironically, um, a lot of them, at least the ones I remember most vividly are, you know, those where you were on the phone with somebody and coincidentally, they said, Hey, do you know someone that can? And you're like, Oh, you, I, you know, I know someone, you know, what's the problem exactly. And they say, yeah, okay, what do you think about doing this, 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 and that? And they're like, okay, you know, get your ass on a plane, get over here. And that's what, you know, I think the power of relationships is, uh, is really about and, um, knocking on the door of a relationship repeatedly and regularly is like knocking on the door of a friend that you want to hang out with and have a glass of whiskey with. So in that sense, um, we are going to close this episode. We're going to close this week. Uh, we're going to be back with each other on Monday, uh, with a totally new episode. Um, and I may or may not tell you why, uh, my voice isn't as enthusiastic as it usually is. So in that sense, um, have a happy and merry rest of your capitalistmas or Christmas, whichever one you celebrate. And, uh, yeah, have a successful weekend. Um, be successful in kind of setting up, you know, conversations with the folks that you're connected to. Uh, you know, and this doesn't have to be LinkedIn, you know, but it can be any person that you've done business with, you know, just to touch base, see what's new, see if you know someone that can help them out with current, you know, maybe with the Rona situation or whatever. And I shall hear you again on Monday. Stay tuned, peace out and have a nice weekend getting back in touch with your folks and contacts. Bye now. <laughs>